Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket. Today we're going to be spicing up my computer over there with... You must have been able to guess it. Exactly. RGB. What else could I spice it up with? And why is an H&R block add in this box package? I don't think this belongs here. Anyways, anything else in the box? Yes, it looks like another ad. Blue Apron, another ad. I don't like it when they do this. Anyways, empty package now. And here it is. I actually forgot my knife, but I shouldn't need it for this. It's the RGB360 kit. It's a latest version. It's compatible with Asus Aura. Oh, Asus Aura. Of course, I'm using an MSI 970, and so that's not going to work. But let's see what's all inside. Nothing else. The package is empty. Totally empty. That looks great. Now, I'm going to try and change the view of the camera right away. Okay, there we go. I, I hope you guys can see better now. I'm not sure if that really improved it. This is the 360 radio remote looks pretty good and it it's pretty sizey I wonder if my gloves will work on this but yeah that's it where is it these are the RGB strips it comes with three of them and they're magnetic I think what can I magnetize let's see this phone here should have something magnetic nope doesn't that's surprising ah right here my boom arm Let's bring that up. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, that's definitely magnetic. It's magnetizing on there. Put that away. Okay, so it comes with one, two, three strips, which are magnetic. And I actually didn't even think of magnetizing them together to see that. So there you go. Let's put that away. It comes with some cords. One cord, actually, to connect two RGB strips together. Looks like the power to Molex adapter. Some zip ties, in case you need to tie them somewhere. For cable management, of course. And the power strip. So you plug the RGB LEDs into here. You plug the thing in there. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and try and set this up. I can ho hopefully get you guys to see this on camera. And I'll be right back. Okay, here is the build in its current state. As you can see, I added a custom PSU cover. I added this little star here just to look nice and uh, cable management is fairly good. I couldn't really do much about that. I hit as much as I can so let's hopefully get some RGB strips up in the top, the uh, in the right, the top, the left, and of course the bottom. And if we can I'd like to illuminate the back of the hard drive cages and inside this five and a quarter inch drive bay and maybe in between the RAM sticks. That's probably crazy. I'm not really gonna do that but Let's get to work and hopefully I can give a time lapse. Okay, I put the case back in its place. <sighs> I got uh, cable management as much as I can. And here's the remote. I put some batteries in it and we're gonna go ahead and power that thing on and hopefully there's no problems. Okay. Oh, booting into Windows on their computer, so yeah, it's all fine, so. Is battery dead or is my gloves not working? Okay, I'm back. I actually had to change the batteries on these and my gloves do work through them as you can see. So, there we go. We got a nice blue. That's what I'm really looking for. Okay, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to put on the side panel because it's too reflective. 
Windows is logged on, everything's working correctly. So, make sure to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I'll change my case soon. Bye.